In this short little video, we're just going to briefly touch on who made Ruby on Rails, who designed the framework, and just a little bit of the interesting story that goes behind it. A company out of Chicago, a privately held company uh, that does various little software, several years ago hired a young programmer out of Denmark by the name of David Heinemeyer Hansen to work on a project collaboration web software for them and that software is now called Basecamp and because of some constraints with regards to him being located in Denmark and they're, they being located in Chicago that led to some interesting design uh, patterns and philosophy with regards to the software and I encourage you to go to the company's website 37 signals because they talk a little bit about about their philosophy on, on how they think software should work and that's important because it gets into some of the philosophies that we'll cover in future videos or videos coming up that you can watch the philosophies of the rails framework and you can see how the derivative of philosophies of 37 signals about software in general and they try to keep most of their software rather democratic in nature. Uh, there's some videos on their website you'll see of David talking specifically about Basecamp where they it's not meant for managing projects in that managers aren't watching people and making sure they're on task but it's actually meant for true collaboration in projects and this is true of Ruby on Rails itself it, it lends itself to the development of these kinds of software now certainly you could develop just about anything because it is software but it leads to some interesting philosophically different ways of approaching web programming Ruby on Rails grew out of Basecamp's development a lot of frameworks come from someone saying I'm going to develop a framework and developing that and then starting to write web applications in that framework and sometimes that leads to some not so good choices along the way and you end up shoehorning a, a lot of features doing doing things not the most efficient way it's interesting that this was approached completely the opposite way that it started out with a product in mind and as they got further along in that product development they decided that their API framework that they were using to build Basecamp was a standalone thing and that became Ruby on Rails. You also if you watch some of the videos on this website you'll see some of the interesting choices they made about Ruby and if we go over to the Ruby on Rails website and again, this will be contained in a in a resources video and also in downloadable files on the CD and available to working files, available in working files that uh, VTC University folks can download. And I'm going to jump to some screencasts here. I'm not actually going to play these because obviously they're theirs, but I recommend you start out and you watch this video. And this is David right here, and he talks a good deal about rails and where it came from and I recommend that you do that. In the next videos planned here we, we're going to talk a little bit more about the philosophies of rails and the implications they have of how the framework functions and how you program in that framework. So hopefully you'll take a look at those videos. Thank you.